And this is the story of the Ducksuckers, a small-time band that achieved a huge success in 1998 but failed to replicate their own success since. Eventually after not being able to release a second album, band officially broke up, and the death of a lead guitarist Cindy Callflower didn't help matters. And that is how Milan Joy, Rustic Callflower and Ashley Miguel split up. This program is brought to you by Anti-Aids Cream. Having a bad dream? Try the Anti-Aids Cream. What do bad dreams have to do with AIDS? I really need to fire whoever wrote this. You wrote this, sir. You're still fired. You're half error. That's racist. Racist? I'm a full error. That's still racist. Not on social media. Hey, Ashley. Are you busy? We need to talk. Yes, today at 4 near Starbucks. Yes, it's like that famous brand, but we can't mention it on TV without an explicit permit. What do you mean I will be late? I'm never late. You were late for your own party. Okay, one time. What about your first child's birth? Look, he died no. during birth so it all turned out well. Okay, Ashley, meet me at 4. What do you mean it's 3.55? It might be a stretch, but I think it means it's 3.55. Okay, I need to run. Bye. Ah, uh, there's a pack of Cheetos if you'll get hungry. That's not even a real food. It's a food. good substitute for food. Like how making music is a good substitute to having a real job. Do you want to restart your band or something? Is middle age crisis catching up to you? Like... 20 years if too you're late. gonna be this mean to me today I'm not gonna kiss you tonight. Actually I'm breaking up with you. Alright, I don't actually have time for this. It was nice knowing you. Bye. Hi. Hey. So, this is kinda random. We usually meet up on Saturdays. Let's restart the duck suckers. What? Milan, it's been a while, I don't think I can play as well and I have a wife now. Yeah, I'm happy for you, go lesbians and all of that but- Excuse me? What? What do you mean, lesbians? Ah, uh, is that an offensive term now? Milan, I'm a guy. What? We knew each other for 30 years and you never ever noticed. I mean, I just thought you were a flat girl. We slept together. Look. I don't judge women for unusually large clitorises, so naturally I assumed. Wait, why is your name Ashley? Well, I'm actually Ashley. You're Asian? Look, the band thing is never working out. Come on Ash. One last ride. Together. Please? Are you okay? You sound sorta of desperate. The band is our only chance to do something notorious. We're almost dead and nobody remembers us anymore. I don't think that's important, and you should be proud of. Huh. Fuck you. Let's do this. What if there will be no other chance? That's the spirit. Can you like, take a vacation or something? From work stuff. Actually I just got fired for being half Arab. That's racist. He's a full Arab. Still racist. I know, right? By the way, are you still living off of residuals of our first album? I mean, no. Sometimes I sell weed. Gay. A little bit. Please. Please. Guys, my wife died there. I don't want to do this. What if your wife died, Ashley? Ha ha, yeah, what if? Do you hate your wife or something? No, but, kinda. She's been treating me like shit since she found out I'm actually a guy. You're a guy. See? Everyone is as confused as I am. I'm pretty clearly gay. I just like dressing eccentric, okay? And having long hair. Look, guys, it's not Saturday yet. Let's just play Monopoly as always and forget that conversation ever happened. Okay, but I have some weed. Want some weed? Maybe a little bit. Fuck it. I'm in. What's with the sudden change of heart? Let's just say I'm sick of my current life. I'm done with this shit. I don't want to be a successful children's book writer anymore. Are those supposed to be children's books? I'm pretty sure I saw the word ass in there. Dude, you'd be surprised with what they let me get away with. 
If you read first letter of every word in my new book you will see a whole short story about BDSM couple. Whoa! I know, right? Okay, so, how do we book a comeback show? I have my people. Hey Milan Wasip. Hey Sufyan, can you book us a show? After you dumped me like a dirty used whore? Hell no. You'll get a discount on weed. Fuck off. What percentage we're talking about? 40. Deal. So apparently the club is called Beating the Dead Hearse. This is our grand return. This is going to... Suck ass. What is this shit? We're only popular with hipster teenagers now, who listen to forgotten music to seem cooler and more unique. So, exactly people like us when we just started the band, right? Pretty much. Wow, they're all gonna turn out sad. Okay, let me just... The fuck are you doing? Do you even <laughs> remember any lyrics? Look, I'm nervous, okay. It's not that strong. Do you even remember any lyrics? We rehearsed earlier this morning. You nailed it. I'm just nervous, okay? Give me some of this, please. Me too. I haven't been on stage in decades, oh god. What is he doing? Is this a new genre? Nah, it's just shit. Your shit. That's fair. You pieces of anus hole. Holes. You will pay for your crimes against music. And who are you? I am the god of punk rock. You are terrible playing angered god of music. Now. Every single genre god is gonna be after you. You. Dick suckers. Actually it's dog suckers. Silence. Who wants to fight me first? That's not fair. We don't have special powers. You. Stupid idiot. Okay. Fine I'll grant you some. Better? Oh. So much. I can feel the power. One fight scene later. You're all gonna fucking die. Fucking. Die. Next is the god of rap. He's gonna see you all in like. A. Week I guess? I don't fucking know. Before I die I wanna say. Fuck the queen. That was. Awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. That was part of the performance. Bye guy. Ducksuckers are back, with amazing visual show, the footage of it was a huge hit, and apparently they are planning a tour across America based on the success of the video. Yeah, we're planning a tour across America based on the success of the video. See, I was right, this program is brought to you by a chewing gum schmoops. Schmoops, if you feel depressed, don't use it, seriously, I did once and I fired my friend who is now in a successful band. I guess it worked out for her so it's okay. Sorry, I didn't have money to buy a three-bedded hotel room. It's fine. Isn't tour across America a bit much? Look, I don't know who those ghosts of Christmas past are, but I'm gonna monetize the fuck out of them. Those are gods we're dealing with. Is he okay? Yeah, it's just his version of snoring. Don't you remember? Oh yeah, ever since Cindy died, he developed that habit. Wonder why? It almost sounds like he's crying. But he said that it's snoring so it's fine. Yeah. You know, I kinda missed this. Living in cramped hotels, touring, having mindless sex and trying to cope with meaninglessness of life, those were the days. Yeah. Okay. Prove me that you're a guy. What? Come on, it's a perfect opportunity. You know I have a wife. Right? I'm not gonna sleep with you, idiot. I just want proof. I mean, I wouldn't have minded. What? I said, mosquitoes have bited. Whom? Me. I don't like mosquitoes so I'm going to another room by. Ah, uh, okay. 
Good night. Good night. Hey. What? Looking forward to another show. Fuck you, Jimmy. He noticed you. Get out. <laughs>